that time is amazing. The super low, but that's when you hit that. That looks amazing. There's just something about the energy on set. Something about having this impossible task that is very uh, energizing to me. I grew up in Taipei, Taiwan, until I was about a teenager and then I moved to the States. I was in the suburbs of Boston where I thought that was what America looked like. And I think that was actually a bigger culture shock when you move from a city to like a suburban landscape. I felt fairly alone when I first came to the States. But my parents are very, very strict. And I was just not really allowed to interact with kids outside of school. Most of the movies uh, that I grew up with were kind of Hong Kong movies. I was obsessed with that. I was not allowed to really watch any of those movies. I could like go to a noodle stand. I would tell my dad I was getting noodles and I would just sit there for 45 minutes watching something. And then in about high school, I had a cousin who somehow came across this uh, DVD called Jackie Chan, My Stunt. It kind of changed my life. And I went to film school and I just realized there was a whole community of kids from all over the world who all grew up with that DVD and a lot of them ended up moving to San Francisco. After college, I, uh, I made my way out here to hang out with these kids, to make things together. Action! Take a sip, McLeet. I've been in the Bay Area for 12 years, coming on 13 years. I saw a lot of overlap between the sense of community that the Bay Area fosters with just the nature of filmmaking in general. You rely on a group of people with like very, very different skill sets and most likely come from really, really different backgrounds and they all have to teach each other something. But I also do feel like as an industry, there's a big disconnect with the people who are commissioning the work. One of the reasons I joined Scandinavia, uh, this group that was founded by maybe four or five kids, one of the reasons was to create a hub that encourages filmmaking that, that take a little more risks. Uh, one of my best friends, Ben, was working on music videos at the time. Through him, I met a lot of also really great music video directors. So that just seemed like the first step if you wanted to be a filmmaker. And now I hope that I've kind of, you know, passed that test. I got a story for you. So I made a short film called Don't Be a Hero about a middle-aged woman who deals with their loneliness by pretending to be a cowboy to rob banks on her lunch break. Maybe the thing that my character Lizzie Joe and I have in common is sometimes you feel more like a character when you're not doing what you love the most. Once I'm on set, I feel like I'm a director. I frequently hear you end up going to work for the people around you. And I definitely feel that way about directing. Action. The people that you're around, uh, everyone's invested and sacrificed a lot to be there, so it makes you want to do everything for them. I'm at my best when I'm in the company of other people. I feel like having people around grounds me and, and holds me accountable. Alright, let's do it. This might be it. Nice and quiet, folks. Here we go. No, that's Brian. He's there to he's there to help rock. Thanks. Okay. Here we go. Alright, is everybody in place? Alright, here we go. 